here with Gary Cody from Mattel, and he works on the Hot Wheels team. How are you guys keeping a brand that's been around for 50 years relevant and continuously evolving with technology? Yeah, uh, it's a great question. We really look to our consumer first and foremost. We um, we're always engaged with what is what are kids into trends uh, and really anchor everything in play. You know, we know that a Hot, a Hot Wheels experience for kids they expect a couple things from us. Uh, things like experimentation, challenge, creativity. So we look at all of our play experiences through those filters and we, we, we focus on the play first and then we use the technology to try and amplify that experience. And what was really interesting, what you guys did with Tech Mods here, this, this isn't your typical die cast size. Yeah. So uh, how did you, you're obviously pushing the boundaries of your, your typical, your traditional, car shape and space, what kind of brought that on? We know that kids love RC and kids love video games. So we took the two and matched them up in a really fun way. And this is an example of kids being able to have a physical experience that is compelling and open-ended and fun and also a, a, a more of a guided, uh, objective-based uh, video game type experience. This is your first time at South by Southwest yes. Gaming. So what are some of the things that you've seen? What are some of the, the takeaways? For those of you that have not been here, I highly recommend it. It is awesome. Austin is awesome. This place is packed. It's packed with kids and adults, families, gamers, musicians, artists, and it's just a really cool place. Um, I've been really fascinated with um, some of the, the, the panels that I've seen, uh, these, these meetups that you can meet up and, and, and talk with consumers, talk with kids, talk with adults and see what they're into and you can have this really kind of one-on-one -on -one dialogue. One of the questions we all talked about as a group is like, how do you see the future of play? If I think about the future of play, I think about our consumer, and I think about all of the areas in the, in the experience from buying a car to building a car or, or a toy, playing with it, sharing with it. Um, all, all those have different levels of friction in that process. And so we look to eliminate all of the friction points in that whole entire journey. 